2008, September 9, Pom Zok is finally hospitalized. For the next week, he will undergo various tests at the Parkinson Center. Dr. Sana Peck hurries up to go meet him. After running some tests, if Bong Suk needs a surgery, Dr. Peck and his surgical team will be heading the surgery. The patient said it's been 40 minutes since he has taken medicine. His movement disorder symptoms and twist of the body could not get any worse than this. The treatment for the Parkinson's disease focuses on alleviating the symptoms. The doctors are going to consider both medical and surgical treatments in order to form the most suitable treatment for Bumzok. The doctors observed what Bumzok's best physical state was after taking the medicine, and for how long the state lasted. Then they observed changes in his symptoms when Bumzok didn't take the medicine. Finally, other tests needed to perform a surgery took place. The main focus is on how much Bumsuk's condition will get better after the surgery. The doctors observed the patient's condition for a week and decided to go through with a surgery. After Bumsuk has decided to go through with the surgery, he and his wife attempted a date for the first time in three years. It's called a date. But it doesn't go beyond than just taking a stroll around the neighborhood. But Bumsok suddenly starts to run. Bumsok doesn't want to run, but he can't control it. Just like how he can't control his shaking and twisting, he can't control his walking or running speed. This is their day. Hyunjung moves too slowly, and Bumsok can't control his walking speed. In this state, they can't even walk hand in hand. They are worried whether the surgery will be successful, but on the other hand, they're also excited that they have the chance to get a surgery. They're just like any other married couples. They want to live a normal, happy life. That's why they're depending on the surgery to make things better. Bumsuk is shaving his head. They wanted the surgery, but when it's finally time for him to go in, they can't help but feel nervous and scared. The doctors place a stereotactic frame on his head to mark which parts will undergo surgery. From now on, for the family, the waiting period will be the longest hours of their lives. For this surgery, the patient needs to be awake during the surgery. So Bumsok is probably the most nervous one out of everyone in the room. Bumsok is now ready to go into the surgery. Doctors are also getting ready by rechecking which parts of brains need to be focused on. Even the smallest mistakes cannot be allowed in the surgery. For this surgery to be a success, the trust between the patient and the doctor is crucial. 
The patient has to be especially stable in order for this to happen. Deep brain nucleus, such as subthalamic nucleus or globus pallidus, are abnormally hyperactive in patients with the Parkinson's disease. The purpose of deep brain stimulation surgery is to inactivate those nuclei by stimulation with electrodes. In order to insert electrodes, the doctor first has to break through some bones and create a small opening into the brain. Then, the doctor has to connect electricity to the designated spot and see how the patient responds. Based on the electric signal given by each neuron, the doctor can find a spot that needs to be stimulated. Then, the doctor checks how the patient responds and continues to operate. The patient's arms and legs moved freely, which means the doctor has found the exact spots in the patient's brain. Now, the doctor will insert electrodes in those specific places. The doctor will operate the same procedure on the right side of the brain. The patient has calmly responded as well. The doctor will also do his best until the very end. Thankfully, Bumsuk surgery ended successfully. The doctor can finally bring good news to the family. <laughs> the doctor still has to finish the last step of the surgery, implanting the two batteries in Bumzuk's subclavicular areas. In order to insert the batteries, the doctor has to put Bumzuk under general anesthesia. The batteries placed in Bumzuk's subclavicular areas will connect to the electrodes from his brain. Finally, the surgery has ended successfully. The doctor still has to observe the after effect, but for now, the surgery was a success. The day after the surgery, Bumsuk is walking by himself. The fact that Bumsuk can walk freely on his own, even without taking medicine, is a miracle for Bumsuk. The doctor who came to see how Bumsuk is doing also seems to be pleased at the surgery's outcome. The happiest person to see the changes in Bumsuk is Hyunjung. That day, the two of them walked and walked as if they were learning to walk together for the first time in their lives. And after four days, Bumsuk was finally discharged from the hospital. Three weeks after the surgery, when we met Bumsuk again, Bumsuk was wearing a formal wedding tux and seemed extremely happy. Doctors MC Sun Ho Young agreed to be their wedding officiant.
Han Jung didn't know she was going to have her wedding ceremony this quickly. Right now, she is overwhelmed with joy. Now, the two of them can walk together hand in hand. The ceremony didn't have magnificent decorations, but with the help of the hospital, Pomsok and Hyunjung's wedding ceremony was one of the most worthwhile moments to the two of them. The medical team who operated on Pomsok also attended the wedding. Pomsok and Hyunjung feel deep gratitude towards everything that has been given to them. Even though the wedding ceremony was held a little late, Today is the happiest moment in their lives. Hanjung and Bumsok will always remember today's happiness, made possible with the help of their families and friends. With many people's blessings, Bumsok and Hyunjung, the couple is finally starting off a new life. From now on, they can create their own happiness. Thank you.